What's up everybody welcome to another honest review video today I have this JBL Tour Pro 2 I have been using this one for the past couple of weeks and you know what I'm in love with this device but yeah it's not for the right reason I'm in love with this one for all the wrong reasons this is a set of earbuds but I'm not in love with the earbuds I'm in love with the charging case of the earbuds the charging case comes with the LCD display panel and on this panel we can do a lot of things well, we are going to talk about all these in a few moments, but before that, one request to you. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Okay, here is JBL Tour Pro 2. We will start from unboxing, but let me make it very clear. I have been using this one for the past couple of weeks. I have already unboxed it, but I have placed everything back inside the box to share the unboxing experience with you. JBL as a brand is one of my favorite, but not for the earbuds. I like their headphones and as I play guitar, I have played guitar with some bands in Beijing, Berlin and Warsaw. So whenever I had some shows or concerts, personally I have always preferred JBL music equipments. But that doesn't mean all the JBL products offers value for money or it's as good as it should be. Anyway, this JBL Tour Pro 2, perfect fit. This one is a JBL product by Harman. Well, as I live in China, I have got a Chinese edition. Here you can see a lot of things written in Chinese. I will talk about all the things, but one thing I like about JBL, the slogan, dare to listen. Okay, after opening the box, the first thing you will see that there are a lot of illustrations like what type of options or features are available on the display panel of the charging case. Turn it around and here comes our JBL Tour Pro 2. Well, after opening the box, there are some illustrations. It shows how to charge it, how to use it for the first time. And before we unwrap this JBL Tour Pro 2, let's check what other things we have got inside the box. Inside the box, JBL have provided... Let me check how many. Two extra sets of ear tips. Poor. I actually have been expecting three extra set of ear tips. But well, there are two extra set of ear tips. And actually the ear tips are very good quality ones. If you have watched my other earbuds review videos, then you know. To me, ear tips are really very important. It's the second most important thing of an earbud. Because these ear tips actually goes inside our ear groove and touches the skin. If the ear tips are not manufactured with premium quality materials, if the ear tips are not that comfortable then it will be very difficult for us to keep the ear tips inside our ear but here without any hesitation i can confirm that yeah the ear tips that jbl has provided are one of the top quality ones Underneath the air tips, JBL has provided a USB A to USB C charging cable. Yeah, you can see there are some accent colors. I really like this orange accent color. Yeah, it makes things a bit more vibrant. Underneath the air tips and the charging cable, there is another box. Inside the box, they have included a user manual, some product registration, safety instruction, and warranty card. Well, here is our JBL Tour Pro 2. Let's unwrap it. Amazing. I'm really surprised to see this design and trust me, even in my wildest dream, I have never dreamt about a set of earbuds which comes with an interactive display panel. Okay, before I talk about the charging case and all its features, let us talk about the specifications and the performance of the earbuds. Have you noticed at the beginning I have said that I'm in love with this JBL Tour Pro 2 but for the wrong reason. Yeah, what does that mean? I mean if I fell in love with this JBL Tour Pro 2 for the right reason then it would have been for the performance of the earbuds. Because nobody would buy a set of earbuds because the charging case comes with a display panel or some extra features. People would only buy a set of earbuds if that performs. Well, JBL Tour Pro 2 costs around 250 US dollars. The actual price is 249.95 US dollars, which in real life is 250 US dollars. The earbuds itself, I mean each earbud weighs 6.1 grams and both the earbuds along with the charging case weighs 85 grams. There is a 1.45 inch touch screen on this charging case. The charging case comes with 850 mAh battery. Each of the earbuds comes with 70 mAh battery. Well, when the charging case and the earbuds are fully charged, we can get up to 40 hours of music time if we don't use ANC. When we use ANC, we will be able to extract 32 hours of music time. 
But when it comes down to the earbuds, the earbuds without ANC will offer 10 hours of music time and with ANC will offer 8 hours of music time. The thing is, this charging case can be charged using a USB-C cable because there is a USB-C port at the bottom and this one also supports wireless charging. That's really a very good advantage. Inside each of the earbuds, there is a 10mm dynamic driver and 3 mics. The earbuds supports Bluetooth 5.3 and the charging case itself supports Bluetooth 5.1. The earbuds are IPX5 IP rated and comes with SBC and AAC codec. I personally use at least two devices at the same time. One is my primary drive, another is my secondary drive, maybe for camera purpose or maybe for other purpose. So personally, I always care about multipoint connection and it's great that this JBL Tour Pro 2 supports two connection at the same time. So yeah, even if I have two different smartphones, I have never felt like, okay, I'm missing something because this JBL2 Pro 2 gets connected to both of the devices within a split of a second. Well, hang on, I'm gonna talk about this charging case, but before that, this JBL2 Pro 2 costs 250 US dollars. That means this one actually belongs to flagship category. But how good is the sound quality? How good is the noise cancellation? And how good is other performance well about connectivity i have no complaint and i have actually managed to have a very nice stable connectivity even when the distance between the smartphone and the earbuds was like 10 meters but when it comes down to anc active noise cancellation yeah i am totally a bit disappointed there are three moods number one active noise cancellation number two ambient sound number three talk through yeah Ambient sound is really good. It doesn't amplify anything around, so we can be aware about what is going on around us. But when it comes to ANC, it's as poor as any other budget earbuds. Yeah, there is this talk through mood. When talk through mood is enabled, you will be able to listen to something that you are listening to. And at the same time, you will be able to have a conversation. But that doesn't make any sense. Like, you have to manually activate talk through. Like, I use Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro 2 and in that, when I talk, when my earbuds detect that I am talking, then my Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro 2 will actually activate ambient sound mood and the volume of the thing that I'm listening to will go down. But that doesn't happen with this JBL Tour Pro 2. ANC is awful, ambient sound is okay, and talk through mode is useless because we have to manually activate it. Then what about sound quality? I mean listening to music, playing games, watching movies, how is the sound quality? I have personally tried this one for almost two weeks, more than two weeks, maybe 18 days and Listening to music is okay if you're sitting in a room like this. This is a studio. There isn't no ambient sound. Listening to music in this type of environment is really okay. But once you go out, you will feel the difference. Okay, when it comes to low, mid and highs, the mid is really great. There is no other set of earbuds that have made me more satisfied than this. But when it comes to highs and lows, I don't know, JBL has actually messed up with everything. Yeah, we can select different equalizer like bass, jazz, club and this and that. Even if I have selected bass, it didn't feel like a premium earbuds. It feels like something mid-range. And to me, treble is very important. Without proper reproduction of treble, no music is actually enjoyable. I don't know what happened. The treble feels like a bit muffled, a bit toned down. There is an issue with this. So sound quality, okay, if you're gonna buy this one for listening to some podcasts, then well, mids are very nice. But if you really wanna buy this one for music, then no, I wouldn't recommend this. But yes, now we are gonna talk about the wrong reason. I mean, why am I in love with this? You know, I have been using this Oppo Find and Flip for the past couple of months and I'm in love with this one. But truly, it's a bit a difficult thing for me. Like, I don't want to unfold and fold this smartphone every time I want to change equalizer or I want to do something on the application of a set of earbuds. I was looking for a solution. And here comes the solution. Now, I don't have to reach for my smartphone to do a lot of things. Well, you can see, I can even receive an incoming call. Hello? Wow, cool. 
I can check message notifications. I can preview a lot of things. I can play pause music. I can skip to the next music or go back to the previous music. I can increase volume and I know which level the volume is. I can select ANC, ambient sound, talk through mood. If I don't want ambient sound control, then I can just disable it. I can select equalizer, jazz, vocal, bass, club, studio. If I don't want equalizer, I can disable it. I can also set an alarm. I can select spatial sound. There are different type of options like movie, music, gaming. I can select the screen brightness of this display panel. I can select lock screen wallpaper. There are a few to choose from. Well, there is this voice aware. I can select between high, mid, and low. There is an amazing feature silent now, auto play pause, notification, message preview, find my buds, flashlight, and we are again back to the first screen. Okay, it's time to talk about voice aware and spatial audio, but before that, let me pause the music. I don't even have to reach for my smartphone. Okay, this JBL Tour Pro 2 comes with spatial audio. There are three different options as I have already mentioned, movie, music, gaming. But truly, in music and gaming, I didn't actually feel any effect. Yeah, when I have selected movie and I have watched a movie, I have actually felt spatial audio effect. But the spatial audio effect of this JBL Tour Pro 2 is nowhere near to Apple AirPods Pro 2022 edition. There is a very big difference in performance. I have also mentioned a feature called voice aware. Yeah, we can select between high, mid and low. That's actually in call noise cancellation and amplifying of your own voice. Like sometimes we make a phone call or we receive a phone call then we can only hear to the other party. We cannot listen to us very clearly. So with voice aware, we can also select that how much of my own voice or how much of our own voice we want to listen to. That's a very nice touch. Okay, it's time for verdict. What do you think? Are you ready to spend 250 US dollars for this fancy charging case for a 1.45 inch touch screen? My verdict is if you have a lot of money in your pocket and if money is burning a hole in your pocket, go ahead, buy one, have fun. This is really a nice fancy thing to have. Maybe you will be able to surprise your friends. Maybe you will be able to amuse your boyfriend or girlfriend. But if you are really gonna buy a set of earbuds for listening to music or for gaming, then it's a straight no. Sound quality of this thing isn't that great. Okay, I have already talked about battery life, but how long does it take to get recharged? 15 minutes of charging through this USB-C port, you will get 4 hours of listening time, and this one actually takes 2 hours to get fully charged. But if you're gonna recharge this one using wireless charging, then it will take a bit of a time. Well, that's all about this JBL Tour Pro 2. Even if I'm a diehard fan of JBL, this time I'm disappointed because I have expected a lot better sound performance from a set of JBL earbuds. But as I've said in the beginning, I'm already in love with this because this one has brought a lot of convenience to my life. And I'm in love with this one for the wrong reason. I wish you won't fall in love with this one for the same wrong reason. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button. Yeah, please go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel, support honest content. You may have already noticed that I never praise a product, even if I love the brand. I'm here to share the truth with you. That's why I have said in my channel, truth be told, 